Hey, what's going on team? Welcome to the video. So reading a nutrition label can be annoying and just sometimes overwhelming. Like no one wants to be reading those entire words and those entire numbers. Like it's too much. It's too much, right? And I can definitely empathize and understand your frustration, but nevertheless, it's still an important ingredient, especially early on when you're trying to lose weight. My job is to help guide you in the most simplistic way possible so that the next time you go purchase something, you know exactly what you're eating. You know exactly how many calories you're eating. Knowing how to read a nutrition label can literally be the difference between you losing weight versus you not losing weight. Like, I can't emphasize that enough. It's that important. Like the whole purpose behind a nutrition label is to give you an idea of how many calories you're eating or drinking from that particular food or beverage. There's only four things I want you to pay attention to. That's it. Like only four things. Everything else you can dismiss. And I'm sure, I'm sure some of you guys might be like, what about, you know, vitamins? What about the minerals? What about calcium? What about it? <laughs> like, what about them? Like, you're eating enough vitamins and minerals and micronutrients, like you're fine. Like dismiss all of that. I just want you to pay attention to these four things. That's it. And remember, like the whole purpose of this video is to keep things as simple as possible. Number one, we have our serving size. This represents a portion of that entire product from that label. Like I wanna make this very, very clear. The serving size only represents a portion of that entire product. It is not an entire product. It only represents a portion of it. To give you an example of what I am talking about, I was too lazy to go to Costco or CVS or 7-Eleven to grab a bag of chips. Instead, <laughs> I have this big ass gallon of milk that was in the house from Whole Foods. Shout out to Whole Foods. So the serving size here is one cup. I don't think you guys can see that, but it's one cup. Remember, serving size does not represent this entire gallon. Serving size does not represent this entire gallon. It represents a portion of this entire gallon. Number two, we have amount per serving calories. So this represents the amount of calories per serving size. If that seems confusing, which it can, let me rephrase it this way. I can definitely understand why you're confused. Um, let me give you big, this big thing again. Remember how I said that the serving size only represents the portion of this entire milk? And remember how I said the serving size of this gallon of milk is one cup or the same as 240 milliliters. The amount per serving calories represents this one cup. And the amount per serving calories on here is 150. the amount per serving calories of this portion of this gallon of milk is 150 calories. Let me rephrase that. The serving size, a portion of this entire milk is one cup. One cup of this thing is 150 calories. One cup represents 150 calories. 150 calories does not represent this entire gallon. This is where people get confused, guys. This is where people get confused. <laughs> like, you know, I don't know, I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm excited. But let me repeat that one more time. It's gonna be a long video. It's gonna be a long video. The 150 calories represents one cup of this gallon of milk. 150 calories does not represent this entire gallon of milk. There, there's no way that 150 calories is, is, is in this entire gallon of milk. 
Number three, we have serving per container. This represents the entire product. This represents your entire bag of chips. This represents your entire bag of cookies. This represents the entire gallon of milk serving per container. You guys cannot see it on here, but the serving per container for this whole milk of gallon from Whole Foods is 16. So what this tells us that for this entire container, there is 16 servings that represents this entire gallon. And so to figure out how many calories you're actually going to be eating from, for example, your entire bag of cookies or your entire bag of chips, you're going to multiply the serving per container times amount per serving calories. So to give you an example, the serving per, per container, the serving per container for this gallon of milk is 16. The serving uh, or calories per serving for this gallon of milk is 150. And so to get the total amount of calories from this entire gallon, if we were to drink this entire thing today, it would be 16, right? Which is the serving per container times 150, which represents the calories per serving. I hope that makes sense. So let's bring the whiteboard. Let's bring some math here. I wrote it big this time. I hope you guys can see it. I really do. If you cannot, I apologize. It tees what it tees. So, the serving per container for this milk is 16. To figure out how many calories are in this entire gallon of milk, it's going to be 16 times the amount of calories per serving, which is 150, that would give us 2,400 total calories. So there is a total calories of 2,400 total calories in this entire gallon of milk. And this is where people often make the mistake of thinking they're not eating a lot of calories, even though they are. Like if your entire bag of cookies has a, the serving per container of that entire bag of cookies is about 10, and the amount per serving calories is about 100, I'm not really good at math, but to get the entire calories from that entire bag of cookies or chips, it's going to be 10, which represents the total serving per container, times amount per serving calories, which is 100, 10 times 100, that's 1,000. So you're actually eating 1,000 total calories from your bag of chips, from your bag of ice cream, from your bag of cookies, whatever it is. So people often see the amount per serving calories, let's say your bag of chips represents 150 calories and think that they're only eating 150 calories. You are not, you are not, my dear. You're not eating 150 calories. You multiply 150 calories times total per serving container. That represents the entire calories that you're eating from that entire bag of chips or cookies or whatever else. I hope. I'm not losing anybody. Moving on. Finally, number four, we have our proteins, our carbs, and our fats. So I'm not going to go too in depth on each one. Um, just know that you want to be getting as much protein as possible, especially if you're trying to lose weight. Uh, proteins are great for muscle retention, which is important for retaining as much lean muscle tissue as possible as you're slimming down. Like you want to be able to maintain as much muscle as possible. Just, just a heads up. I'm just going to read off the protein amount, uh, carbs amount, and fat amount. I am not going to write it down. I don't think you guys 
need that. I don't think it's necessary. I'm just going to read it to you and hopefully you guys believe me. So, and it's important to note that the amount of fat, carbs, and protein derived from this milk represents the amount per serving size. Meaning, total fat is eight grams. This represents only the amount per serving size of this gallon of milk, which is one cup. Remember, serving size is only a portion of this entire gallon. So each carbs, fat, and protein represent the amount per serving size. So one cup of milk will equate or equal total fat of eight grams. One cup of milk will equal total carbs of 12 grams. One cup of milk will equal total protein of eight grams. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope I didn't bore you. If I did, I'm not apologizing. <laughs> I'm not apologizing for that. It is what it is. Um, hopefully you guys can hit the like button. I'm not a fan of asking people to subscribe because I feel like if you enjoy the content and you enjoy the educational piece of this video, you automatically would subscribe. But for those who do forget, hit the subscribe button. Hopefully this helps. Thanks so much for watching.